Tadworth Leisure Centre in Surrey, all closed up and empty. But it's about to be transformed, and very quickly. It's now half past nine in the morning. In just an hour, this will become a fully functioning mobile testing centre. And here are the team who will make it happen. A small detachment from 1st Battalion Irish Guards, who get down to work straight away. So once they come through the front gate, they'll go to this stand where they'll get the test and explained. Once that, they'll park up and take the test, and if they need any help, they'll ask for help off us. And then once that's done, they'll go drive round to the other, the next tent, hand in their test and get signed off before being able to leave. The team are working quickly, as this time-lapse footage shows. We're used to it now. Uh, we can get it pretty much set up in like 15, 20 minutes. So uh, this is our fourth time, so we're used to it now. And what do you feel about helping out in this way? Well, it's a national crisis, in it? So, you know, it's not exactly hard, you know what I mean? With coronavirus testing people, it's a national crisis, and obviously the British public need our help. This is going to be the exit. Uh, as the public exfil out of the site, they will be dropping off their tests to whoever's going to be manning this position. Um, we'll obviously collect the tests, uh, make sure they're all scanned up so then they can receive their results within the next one to two days. And how do you feel personally about being involved in this? Uh, proud. Um, you know, I get to serve uh, the public um, within my battalion. You know, we are the face of the British Army and, you know, we like to help as much as we can. Well, these are the first tests that have been taken out, put under the van just to protect them from the sunlight to begin with. And as we get close to the time the side opens, they'll be put at the relevant positions on this drive through. Later in the day, as we get warmer, we've got electric cool box fridges that they can be put into to keep them cool. At 11.45, a courier will arrive, take the first batch of completed tests to the laboratory for processing. I think we're incredibly pleased and Look, we all join the army because we want to serve our country. However that may be, it doesn't always have to be on operations. You know, um, we are in a privileged position where we can do that day in, day out. And I think that um, my guardsmen have really risen to that challenge and um, they've thoroughly enjoyed it so far. After the build, it's time to don PPE and get ready for the first members of the public to arrive. And there's quite a queue as the testing centre opens, bang on the dot of 10.30. Inside there's a manual to tell you everything to do. Pretty straight, straightforward, pretty easy. If you're struggling at any point, put on your hazards, beat your horn, we'll come over and help you. This is the final day of testing for 1st Battalion Irish Guards here at this location. Two days off for them before they resume at another location somewhere else in southern England. And from the numbers of cars here today, the services will most likely be in great demand. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.